Hey, this is Amy. I'm coming at you from the sunroom. There is decidedly no sun, but it's handy for filming a sort of blurry selfie and hiding my hat hair and also, uh, I'm not a ghost, I promise. That's what I was trying to go with that. Yeah, let's stick with that story. Not a ghost. You heard it here first. I'm still not feeling great. I still have a little bit of the flu left over. I got cocky because the the fever is not over 100 every single day, but it's still in the like 99s. And this morning I packed up my baby pink Florentine satchel and a chestnut satchel, which I had sold on Facebook. Uh, and I filmed how I packed the baby pink because I thought there are all these bags out there that get shipped in these terrible ways and we're all always complaining that the bags arrive destroyed because sellers don't know what they're doing. So I thought I will make a video and then we can all link these sellers to the video and they can see how to do it correctly. Not that I'm like the queen of packaging, but I haven't heard any complaints yet. I'm very thorough. And then when I got back from dropping them off at UPS with my husband, I thought I'd look at the video clips and see how they turned out. And I couldn't find them in my uh, camera roll. And I was like, oh my God, did I do that thing again where I filmed for like 10 minutes and actually wasn't recording at all, which happened a couple times when I was sick because 100 plus fever plus my brain, which is already kind of damaged from various things I'll get into some other video. It's not a good combination, but thankfully, I was still having like fever brain problems, but what I forgot was not how to record or that I was recording or wasn't recording, but that I recorded with Filmic Pro, which is the app that I talked about. And it doesn't put its film clips in the camera roll. Thank God. Cause it's not like I can refilm packaging a baby pink satchel. It's already gone. Hopefully Patricia's gonna like it. So with that ramble intro done, I'm declaring it done. I have a couple things to show you. Two unboxings, only one is a bag. And I wanted to show you this guy. So this is what I thought was a chestnut front pocket Florentine crossbody. I believe they're called pocket Florentine crossbodies, maybe. Let me see if I can adjust the exposure. The one thing about the Filmic Pro is that you have to do it manually. Okay, so when I got this, I thought it was chestnut, but I posted a photo of this in the chestnut satchel on Facebook, and I was like, are these both chestnut? They're totally different. Um, and the ladies there were like, it looks like Timoro. And I thought, oh, really? So I have a bag with a Timoro strap, and I held it up against it, and lo and behold, it was faded and kind of roached Timoro, and I, I got a really cheap $40 ship, so whatever. I like this format. It's not as good as the binocular bags in terms of holding stuff, but it does have the separate outside pocket and a zip, which is nice. Um, and yeah, it was $40 and not, you know, 60 to 120, which is what the binoculars tend to go for, unless you're super lucky. So yeah, surprise tomorrow. I really like it. It's really dark. Uh, it's got a fair amount of wear to it, but I conditioned it with the Cadillac conditioner and it's already hidden a bunch of it. Uh, and you know how it is with these dark colors, right? They, they look worse on camera than they do in real life. It's pretty cool. If you don't have one of these styles and you like little crossbodies and you want something you can just like throw on that weighs nothing and it holds all the essentials, I highly recommend it. It will not hold a full size wallet, I don't think, or if it will, it's very tight, but I have a, a slim wallet anyway. It's got a tassel. This is the same size pocket as on the medium pocket satchel, the big daddy. So this holds my iPhone 8 Plus and then some, which is really convenient. It's got a really nice snap. So I really like this style. I also have a baby pink and just wanted to say, this style is great. No one wants them, they're cheap. So if you see one, grab it. My baby pink was $50, so yeah, score. How about a box? So what I've learned about myself, which I did not know, is that when I am sick, my tolerance for not buying something goes down a lot. <laughs> Normally I'm fairly 
good about denying myself things that I probably shouldn't buy, but want to. And you know, I can't afford them, but it's also good to not buy things you don't need. I think we can all agree that that's a fact. Um, granted, my definition of, of what I need is, is very different than most people's. Like for example, I cannot live without tons of artwork everywhere, but I don't need any more bags. Uh, and the flu was like, bitch, treat yourself. <laughs> argue it was taking over my body it wasn't my fault it was totally my fault anyway so uh this was my last second to last impulse purchase while I had the flu and I don't regret it I'm really excited to see it actually um I don't regret it at all but a month later I probably wouldn't have splurged on it but I did and here it is and I'm sure it's a wonderful bag and I'm excited the lady I bought it from Bonnie was super nice and I'm sure it's going to be amazing, so let's open it up. Oh, look, she's organized and actually has thank you cards. I keep thinking I need to get thank you cards and keep forgetting because I ran out. So. Ha! The first rule of bag club is always save your boxes for reuse. I totally used that same size Target bag, which is where she got hers, to ship half a bag today. All right. So, you can see already... It's not Florentine. Let me focus. 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 That's exposure. Where's focus? Other dial. You'd think for someone who has a long history of like total film camera nerding out that I would be able to handle this better, but the controls are confusing and I only have one hand free. So Bonnie did again what I uh, said to do in my video, which is wrap the handles. Way to go, Bonnie. I did not wrap the tassels though. She's one-upping me. Oh no. Bonnie should do a video on how to wrap bags for shipping. So ladies and gentlemen, this is a bone Samba. So this is my third Samba. I really like the Sambas. I can see why everyone is super into them. Comes with the original paperwork, that's great. Sambas are made in America, which I appreciate. Um, oh, and it's so nice and squishy. I'm really excited to see the bone in the daytime because I'm under halogen lights right now, and then who knows what's going on with these LEDs. Uh, to my eyes, it looks a little gray, which I'm sure isn't right. I'm sure it's because I'm in a black room and it's dark night and halogens are on. So I'm really excited to see this in the daytime and I will update when I do. But it is, I'm gonna sniff it on camera. Is that weird? It smells nice. The Sambas have a leather smell, but with like a slight undertone of like pool toy smell. I don't think everyone can detect that. I have super senses, it's part of I've always had super senses, but since I've had the brain injury, which I kind of alluded to earlier, it's even stronger. Um, but I don't mind that smell because it means that the leather is protected from all sorts of weather and whatnot. This is not a super squishy Samba, which I am relieved about. So I actually have another bag I want to compare this to that I have not revealed yet. What did I say? Flu made me do it. <laughs> um, and so I'm going to grab that and be right back. Okay, so we have Bone Samba. <laughs> a lot of you have commented that you find me funny, which is great because in real life, my friends find me funny only up to a point. The only person who always finds me funny is my husband. So I appreciate that. Thank you for indulging me and humoring me. Bone Samba. And do <laughs> White Florentine <laughs> small satchel. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, oops. So I actually I don't feel bad about buying this bag whatsoever. I'm just being silly. I'm like own it. That's basically my my actual approach to life. So there's a little story behind this bag, and the story goes as follows. I found 
this amazing brand new looking all white white notice the painted uh, whip stitching here all white white florentine satchel on ebay and washed it drop from like 268 dollars to 245 dollars to 220 dollars all the way down to 168 dollars and i kept thinking i should buy that and then i thought would think i'll think about it for another day or two and one day i actually went and intended to buy it and then i got distracted and did not complete the purchase i literally had started to buy it and did not complete the buy it now I'd opened the page and thought, and, and like I got a call or something, someone talked to me and I didn't do it. And I came back to my iPad or whatever and was looking at Facebook and saw that Lisa from one of the groups had posted a photo of her snowy white Florentine satchel. And then I saw that Dooney Days, aka Alana, had posted. I found this on eBay for an incredible price. I don't know why anyone didn't buy it. I bought it. And I was like, no. <laughs> oh, she who hesitates is lost. Go, Alana. Good for you for, for acting instead of procrastinating forever like I did. So when someone posted that there was this guy on Tradesy for $82, but that it looked kind of rough. And I looked at the photos and it did look kind of rough. I was like, I don't care if it's rough. I'm going to buy it. If it's messed up, maybe I'll like play with leather paints and dye and like make it a color because it's the perfect base, right? It's white. But lo and behold, it's not really that messed up. It's definitely got a few marks, but oddly, you would think that white would show everything. It really, it doesn't actually. I think the photos were a really high contrast. They made it much worse. There's this Need to focus. Let's see, I can focus on this disgustingness. This is like surface dirt, and I don't even want to know what it is. I'm gonna attack it with um, a toothbrush because I I did this with my fingernail, and some came off, and I was just like, Ugh, what is it? I don't want to know. But it actually looks focus. Actually looks really good, all things considered. It does not look as good as the one that Alana got. So Alana, you still made 100% the right decision. And I regret that I procrastinated. Um, but you beat me fair and square. But it really looks great in person. So now we have white and bone to compare to. This guy, obviously I'm going to baby it because it's freaking white Florentine. And remarkably smooth, actually, now that I get a closer look at it. And this will be my light colored bag I can actually take outside and not worry about, except for denim transfer. But I don't think I wear the kind of jeans that actually bleed. My jeans are all super light wash and they're like only partially real denim. You know how it is. So here's the bag reveals. The flu made me do it. And then Lisa made me do it. And then Vani, who was like, do you want it? She also made me do it, but fair point. I wanted to do it or I wouldn't have done it. So I now have some light colors in my collection, which I did not before. I've realized I don't like dark colors like chestnut. I only like natural in terms of brown. And then I like brighter, whiter colors, clearer, intense colors or, or these. And I, I think I really like the Samba better than I like the real bone, just based on photographs, like uh, Florentine bone. So yeah, new bags. I have a couple of things to show you, and there might be another couple more bags coming. Um, Mama's been a bad girl. I don't even know why I said that. That's really freaking creepy. Why did I say that? I don't care. I spent the money on bags that I would normally spend on art, but there's no more walls for me to hang stuff on. Legitimately, that is a problem, and that is the reason. So I'm going to stop embarrassing myself now by talking about what a crazy purchasing demon I am and show you the other thing that arrived, which I'm really excited about. So I've never really been into handbags until recently. Uh, I've just never been into super girly stuff. Like again, I love like a Lisa Frank aesthetic, but I've never been into like makeup, handbags and shoes. It's just not my thing. I'm still not into makeup and I don't like shoes like as designer things 
I don't like know what shoes are in this season. I don't wear heels of any kind unless they're riding boots um, and whatnot. But now that I have all these amazing handbags, I'm like, my, my feet look like crap. I do have uh, a couple pairs of sneakers that I wear that are like cool sneakers, but they're really worn out. And my favorite pair of sneakers of all, my Nike Air Stab Air You Breathe, like purple and maroon colorway sneakers are from like 2004 and I, I bought three pairs of them on the secondary market and they're just all worn out now yeah so I wanted to get cool shoes but I don't want to spend a fortune and I don't want to look like a a very comfortable hobo which is where I'm at right now these are mostly indoor slippers now and you can see why I got wall paint on them so ridiculous um I was looking for shoes I could like coordinate with my bags and I thought does does Nike still make cool colors uh and the answer is yes and the answer is they are not expensive on eBay so I am super excited about these Nike Air something I don't know they've changed the names a bunch of times because they are a bright turquoise I just need a turquoise samba to go with them but I think these will look cool if I wear one of my poochie scarves that has turquoise and like orange in it and then I can carry like an orange bag and have turquoise shoes and that's my idea of cool and it's no one else's idea of cool and that's fine by me. I live in the countryside. Most people wear flannel and drive trucks. I have flannel and we also have a truck so no judgment there but this is the audience I'm playing to. They don't care and I don't care that they don't care. I'm really excited to wear these. A little concerned about the the hardness of the bottom here. To me, Nike Air is supposed to have like air cushioning, but it really doesn't feel like it does. Oh gosh. Why would you call it Nike Air something if it doesn't have air cushioning? Well, we shall see if they if they actually work for my joint condition or not, but I will, I will report back. But yeah, I'm really excited about these. These will look much cooler. Oh, yeah, these are a men's size 9. Just in case you were wondering, are my feet really that big? They really, really are. My husband and I can actually share shoes. Because <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> so, yeah, that sums it up. I actually have a purple pair coming as well, which I'm very excited to wear with my purple bags. If they, if the purple pair is comfortable I think this is a pretty good haul for a day don't you think oh and for the record if you like these sorts of shoes um I'll put the actual name in the in the description box and I think that I paid $55 shipped for these so that is about my price range for shoes I like spending about that much and not more unless it's going to be amazing or made something incredible like Full grain sheepskin with wool on the inside. Yeah, I do like Uggs. They are rarely comfortable. Rarely? I do like Uggs. They are very comfortable, but they look like you're wearing pajamas on your feet outside. So there you go. I can't tell, but I'm pretty sure I'm rambling like a crazy person now. So I'm going to call it quits for tonight. And eventually I will really do a... a a video on that Bolero bag like I keep promising. And I also post the bag on... Uh, I'll post the bag on how to video a packing. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to post the video on how I pack a Florentine satchel bag. That's what I'm going to say. Yes, I think I need to go back to bed, actually. So, I'm saluting you. But you can't see. See you next time. <laughs>